Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashini Agarwal and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my 2020 January bullet journal. In this video, I'm gonna be planning through January and you guys can plan along with me. In this video, you will see a cover page, a quote page, a monthly calendar, two trackers and a weekly spread. So if you're excited to see me plan my January 2021 bullet journal, just keep on watching. Let's just get right into the video. Hey guys, so I have my bullet journal open to the next page after my 2021 bullet journal setup. And I am just writing January in all uppercase letters. Since the theme is light bulbs or lights, I have me just drawing with a pencil all the light bulbs across the page. I am drawing all the light bulbs in different sizes and shapes, and I'm also drawing some stars. And now I'm just going to outline January in a micron and outline everything else in a pen. As you can see for January, I also outlined it multiple times to give it a different font. And now I'm just going to take a yellow marker and outline one side or the other with it. It didn't really matter what side, I was just doing whichever side I wanted to. And then after that, I'm going to be coloring in the stars with a different shade of yellow. I also added random lines on random light bulbs or stars to show emphasis. For the quote page, I am drawing a giant light bulb and I'm going to be writing a quote right underneath the light bulb that says, look at the bright side. I did the same color as I did on the right side and then I also added dots around the page because it looked really empty. On to the next page which is going to be my monthly calendar page and I am just making a simply monthly calendar spread and if you're wondering how many boxes I used, I used 6 horizontally and 5 vertically. After that, I outlined everything and then started drawing little circles on the upper left hand corner. And then after that, I started writing the numbers in those circles. After I was done with that, I wrote January on the top of the page and wrote it in this cursive font and went over it a couple of times. Then I drew the same type of light bulbs at the top of the right page and at the bottom of the left page. And then I just outlined that with a pen. Also, just so you guys know, I am erasing the pencil after I'm done with the pen. I am adding the same color to the left or the right side of the light bulbs to make it the same as the cover page. Now on to my trackers. So if you saw in my 2021 bullet journal setup, I decided to do a year in pixels, which has all the mood trackers for all 12 months in that spread. So on the left hand side, I just have a habit tracker. And then soon you'll see on the right side, I have a productivity tracker.
I just did a simple habit tracker spread where I wrote down six habits and I wrote the numbers of each of the days of the month in them. For this tracker, I chose the habits of no soda, eating healthy, reading, writing, my phone, and steps. To keep it the same, I did the same things with the light bulbs and the stars, and then I also made habit a little thicker so you could see it more clearly. For my productivity tracker, I just drew the tracker really quickly in a circle type of layout. You can see what I'm doing if you're looking at the spread, but basically I am just drawing light bulbs in the middle of the spread and productivity tracker at the top is in the same font as habit tracker on the left side. Now I am just making 31 spaces for each of the days and filling that in with a pen. And now I am just filling in all the light bulbs and stars. And I also made a key at the bottom. This is my weekly spread layout. And I decided to do the first two weeks of January, which is nine days because the first week only has two days. So here I am sketching out nine boxes and I wrote January at the top left side and I'm just drawing light bulbs at the bottom of the left page and the top of the right page. I quickly outlined everything and I also wanted to put something at the bottom left side of the page so I decided to put a quote. To go along with light bulbs and lights, I decided to put the quote that says, be the light in someone's day. And I really liked this quote for January because it gives us a great start to the year. I am also before that just drawing circles so I know what day is for which box, and I'm outlining that with a black pen and writing in the numbers. Now that I've written the quote, I'm just going back and drawing in the emphasis on the light bulbs and stars because I thought it gave it a nice touch. And that is it for my January 2021. And this is the flip through of all the pages I made. So I hope you guys like this video. And I just forgot to mention that around the productivity tracker, I also numbered the squares so it would be easier for me to know which day to fill in. And I also wanted to mention that I might not plan any more on camera and I might just make my spreads and all my monthly stuff ahead of time and then just show you guys it and walk through it because I think it would just be easier and I also don't like to make my spreads all at one time I like to space it out so I have more time to think of my thoughts and my ideas anyway I hope you guys like this video and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of my content thank you for watching bye guys